You thought I was gonna say good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Hope all is well. Today is Thursday, October 21st. Yep, 2021. Heading over to Lynbrook. I haven't been at this house in a couple years. It's got a gas-fired Burnham steam boiler and he turned it on for the first time the other night and it's making a, a lot of clicking sounds. So, my bets on an issue with the low water cutoff based on experience, um, which affects you know the gas valve operation, voltage cutting in and out. Maybe it's that, we'll see. But nonetheless, been there before, it's been a couple years. We'll see what's going on. But my money's on the low water cutoff. So let's see what happens. Hopefully I'm right or I'm wrong, or hopefully it's a loose wire, or maybe the relay. Who knows? But all right, let's get going. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button if you want any magnets stickers hats shirts details in the description box down below and make sure you check us out on whatsapp we are very active there's about 200 people on the whatsapp group chat and we're quite interactive during the day so if you like the kind of stuff that we do here join whatsapp and also discord links in the description box down below all right let's go I think we did your water heater, right? Yeah, yeah. So what's anyway, going on? Let me turn it on so okay. you can see what happens within about two minutes. Okay. Burn them. I N four. This damper, fifteen psi relief valve, boiler drain, pressure troll, side class, lower to cut off. Transformer, that damper. <sighs> but just turn it on. Okay. And I turned it on, it was like two or three days ago, obviously because it was Yeah, it got a little cold at night. Yeah. Um, but then the noise started clicking, and I would shut it off, go on. It heats perfectly, but then that noise is like. Tuh, 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 tuh. And hmm. I just said to myself. What kind of thermostat you got? Been there forever? No, no, no. It's uh, it's. I replaced it probably about two years ago. It's a digital one. Okay. Stuff. Take and batteries. Yeah. When's the last time you changed the batteries? No. So, um, I don't get know into a habit of changing it once a year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Guess we're waiting. Yeah. Does it normally have a delay? I mean, it, 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 to turn yeah. on? Yeah, it is on. Well, there's power to it. The green yeah, light is on. Yeah, so, it, on. switch is on. Yeah. But normally, turn the thermostat on, it, it should come on, on right away. away. Yeah. yeah, you usually hear something go like that, 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 that. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm making all these noises for you to say. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and right there, that's the block vent switch. The spill switch right there. Under the hood. Which I don't want to touch it. I want to confirm the issue without doing anything. Oh, there's the click. All right, so there's the click. The relay got power, got a signal from the thermostat, and now your vent damper is opening. Yeah, because you know what? The temperature in the house is 72, and it was set for 72. There you go. So I just clicked it up. All right, so damper is opening. We have ticking of the, the pilot assembly. That's normal. Now we have that. That's a gas bag. That's the gas valve. This boiler is an IN5, 2013. Generally, it's the gas valve. Generally. However, I have seen other components make it do that, such as maybe a defective low water cutoff or a other safety switch, like the vent damper. Mm -hmm. Something that normally has power okay. to operate, 
and it's part of a safety circuit. What that means is like like Christmas lights. If one goes out, they all go out. Mm -hmm. So, but the lights all have power. So, but if one goes out, the other ones, everything still has power, but it kills everything. Here, your damper always has 24 volts available to it. The low water cutoff always has 24 volts available to it. Because you notice the light is always green right? in the low water cutoff. But it also, if it senses there's no water, then it it breaks the, the circuit. The light is still, light, the light turns like the red mm -hmm. right, of low water and burns the boiler and run it. So, let's see if it does it again. <laughs> Which it probably will. And then we'll have to replace the gas valve. You know, put people in jail. Yeah, they did. No bail, you know. No bail. Oh, that sucks. That's no bail, like, and, but and they keep letting them go out in the streets over yeah. and over and over again. And, and you gotta see the stuff. Like, I, I, I take the Queens of Midtown Tunnel to, to the city. I get off and uh, on Thirty Fourth Street because my office is on Twenty Sixth by the river. Mm -hmm. And you gotta see between the time I get out of the tunnel until I get to the parking lot on West Twenty Sixth by the Intrepid up there. Uh huh. The nonsense that I see every day. I tell you. Shooting up because they just they just passed the law in the city last Friday that you can you can now shoot up. I mean publicly shoot up and not get. In other words, they've handcuffed the cops like you have no idea. I don't understand what the f is wrong with this mayor. Well, he destroyed the city. He destroyed the city. Well, you know, he's socialist. And now they're taking they, they they took out a Thomas Jefferson statue, statue out of City Hall, a president of the United States. Okay, so back listen, back in the days, this is how things were. Everybody George Washington slaves. was a slaveholder, too. Everybody slave holder. held slaves. Just Everyone like held. Today, everybody has an iPhone, right? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You know? So what is... Now, that's how it was back then. And it was global. You know, it's... Not a, just the United States at the time. It, it was everyone. It, people just... I tell you what... But they, times change. But they're getting the mileage out of it. Now. Yeah, they're, they're, they're milking the system. They are... Forgive my language, but they are... Fucking throwing everything on the wall to see what sticks. Exactly, because it's that you throw enough shit at the wall, eventually something's, something's gonna, stick. gonna stick. It is disgusting. It is really disgusting. So. No, I'm, I'm just. Yeah. But I sometimes like I, I'll, I'll take instead of taking the Southern State, depending on the traffic. Sunrise. I'll, I'll take Sunrise, right? And the minute you get into the Queen huh. the Valley huh. Stream up there, uh huh. Every intersection, people are selling stuff. Yep. You know, it's like, and and you know what? Because of my job, I get to travel the world. And I've been to like third world countries for real, for real. Like <laughs> India, uh, Honduras, Nicaragua. Um, I go to Mexico all the time to do these investigations. They fly in business? Yeah. No, no, no. 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 Oh. Regular class. oh. I, don't, I don't rate that. <laughs> that I kind mean, of traveling, yeah, yeah. you think? Uh... <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. I, I, we get to collect the mileage, so the hotel. Oh, uh, okay. The car rental. Very nice. All hotel. right, so you yeah. get you get the miles. Yeah. So I'm going to DC points. like in two weeks, basically free. Because of the miles and the rental, but nonetheless, the same conditions that I see out there, like there, like there's people out in these third world countries hustling, selling food. I mean, you know, you don't know what you're eating. No, you don't. You know, I mean, no. you know what? Like, let's say you go to Mexico, because we have offices in every part of the world. So I, when I go to Mexico, I go to the U.S. Embassy and I and I I, I meet a coworker. Right. Yep. But they're immune. Their system is immune. Now, if you went to Mexico and ate, you're not. You're not immune. Yeah. You, you, you shit, shit your shit your brains out, out for like yeah. a week. Like, yeah, like yeah, I had White have, Castle. They have the bug. <laughs> they have the bug. They have the bug in them already, so they don't. You know. But when I go to Mexico, when I go to these places, I only eat at. No. I only. No, but you see that at every corner, every street corner in Queens, because I do, we do a lot of Queens. Yeah. There's peddling stuff, fruits, oh, this and that. Yeah, but you know, yeah. you know what I'm seeing now? These motorized mopeds or mo motorcycles. With no, no license, license plates. plates. And they're going through red lights. Well, but what if you went through that red light? Oh, yeah. The ticket, I get 50 You know, National Canada, it's $157. I just got New York one City is three 50. weeks ago. $150. Yeah, they, they kill you there. It was by the mall. Uh, <laughs> it, I don't know. What the fuck? You know, I go, what, what am I going yeah. to work Meanwhile, for? Meanwhile, the driver, and, oh, how is that legal? I've got videos of all of this. And you know what? The city council of New York and the mayor just just look the other way, just like the president is. Yep. You know, where you know there's. Well, that's why know. we have to let's go, Brandon. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, <laughs> I, I told my wife I'm buying an FJB shirt. You know, <laughs> we, we 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 go a lot to Long Beach and there's yeah. a house right on. Uh, oh, the house okay, the I know the house. So that house is a client of mine's brother. Right, he is in an active lawsuit with the city of Correct. Long Beach for a yeah. half a billion dollars. Yeah, yeah. He's like a retired lawyer. Right? Yeah, he's a retired lawyer, yeah. and his brother is a licensed New York City plumber. Yeah, yeah. And his office is actually on 
Hawthorne Avenue, in, okay. down block okay. from our office, okay. and it has the Trump things on his on his yes. Jeep, yes. like no fuck Joe Biden, on his Jeep on his house, everywhere and stuff like that. And they I, made him, they wanted them to take it down, they sued him or whatever, so now right. he's suing them for like yeah, yeah, yeah. stupid amount of yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 my wife says, please don't get like that guy. I go, no, 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 that's, <laughs> this is a line. I won't but I got a, Trump, I got a Trump little thing in my front yard, right. Trump 2024, you know, it's, it's a free country. You know, it's a free country. Listen, you, you know, I, you know I, I, I'm not going to get into the debate of, you know, if, if the election was rigged, but okay, you know what, he lost. That, that's the way I feel. That's the way. You know, he lost. Obviously, people voted for him more. And if they right. want to claim fraud, like, listen, whatever. I don't want to get involved yeah, in the, yeah, the, the, the whole voting that's, scandals. That's all conspiracy. Yeah, and, it's, you know, it is so, in its own yeah way, it's know. nuts. But, uh, yeah, no, yeah. I, uh, I I said, yeah, I'm getting an FJB shirt. And, uh, <laughs> let me, let me get now, I'm all, you know, we've been, it's been running for about 10 minutes. Nothing. And it hasn't done. I only did that one time. The only thing I did... When I, when I first saw the noise, I turned this from off, I'm on to off, off, and it killed the ignition, like like that is now. Uh -huh. And then you'll hear it ticking. See, it wants to ignite, and then I turned it back on, and it's going to relight. So I did that, and the other thing I did, I pushed this in, which doesn't make it, it's irrelevant, right? Okay. But I also jumped out the thermostat up at the top. Did I? No, not yet. Um, no, I didn't. It's still on. Oh, I thought I did. So nothing has changed except I just turned the dial on the gas valve. And no just because I want, I want to see if it, come, it came right back, but it hasn't. We'll have to wait and right. see. Power cycled. Let's see if we can duplicate the issue. Damper is closing. Now it's going to reopen. It should. Lower the cut off to auto reset. Okay, damper is now opening. Once that opens, the end switch closes, sending 24 volts to the rest of the safety circuit, and then energize the gas valve. We have ignition. Slowly opening. Now we have main ignition. No noise. The noise is finally back. We did a combustion test. Results were good. Let's well, process of elimination. Usually tapping on these things sometimes makes it go away. Wiggle the wire around a little bit. But I was touching these wires though when. Oh! I just hit it here. You did. Oh! Do that again. <laughs> no, okay. I hit it here. Maybe it's something there. You know what? There's got to be something here as well, though. But the noise. Okay, I don't have a good connection there. All right, let's go get the tools. Figure out what's going on here. Because you know what? Everybody wants to be a rocket scientist, a lawyer. Uh, I'm like, you know what? You'd, you're better off getting a trade. And you know what? By the way, I use this. This is a pretty cool, by the way. I don't know if you've ever seen these before. Yes, I have. You've seen these before? Yes. Oh, yeah. They're awesome, by the way. Yeah. They I'm are far it. superior to wire nuts. This is the Wago 221. This is the two conductor con uh, wire connector. It eliminates all that twisting. And yep. Yeah. All right. All right, let me go get a gas valve. Well, I've seen many low water cutoffs do, give that condition, and you don't you overlook it. But 
appears to be okay. All right, I have a gas valve in the truck, more than likely. And I'm gonna see if I can just plug it in and see <coughs> if the noise goes away. But alternatively, Block vent switch. Let's go. All right. All the tapping in the world is not going to make it go away. All right. New gas valve is in. Had it in the truck. Now we're going to do a combustion test to make sure she's burning properly. All right. Let this run for a little bit. Make sure CO stays close to zero as possible. Under 50 is acceptable. And let's let this run for a little bit. I was at a, a job yesterday morning. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me, by the way. I'm at this job, first call of the day. And there's no traffic on the floor park. So from Valley Street to Floral Park, normally it's 20 minutes, but I got there like in 10. I don't know. So I'm there a little bit earlier, 7.50 in the morning. Supposed to be there at 8. And this guy's got a... a, is a a well McLean steam boiler, you know, yours is Burnham steam boiler, and it's old. Dirt. <laughs> Not as new as this. It's probably 30 years old. Wow. And one of the things that I had to do was clean out the inside of the, where the, where the burners are, the combustion chamber is called. Yeah. And when I was vacuuming, you know, I had to relight the pilot, of course, right? Because I just took everything out, relight the pilot. And my lighter that I used was like right there. So I'm, I'm laying on the floor, sitting on the floor, and I, you know, I totally forget it's sitting there. And it's right here, by the way. Right, so I don't see it out of sight of the view. I'm doing a combustion test like I'm doing. I'm doing right now. Homeowner's like standing where you are. I'm behind the boiler. All of a sudden, I hear a boom, and like flame shot out of the front of the boiler, and it sounded like electrically something got zapped with this thing. Right, and I find the lighter all in the back of the thing and exploded. <laughs> got very lucky. However, all things happen for a reason. Right. And I'm trying to figure out, at first I'm trying to figure out what caused this to happen. I noticed that it has like the, the linoleum tile right. up to the, the, where the burners are, right. and they're charred. They're charred, and I, ha and I took a little video of it, right, because I like the video, the, the work I do, document everything. Plus I have to refer to something if I need be. And the iPhone is like tw oh, a, tr a terabyte now, so I can hold mi millions of vid videos. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I noticed that the lin linoleum was, was burnt there. And I was like, did it happen with the lighter? I'm like... So I looked at the video when I first got there and it was burnt there. Everything happens for a reason, right? If it wasn't for that, I would have noticed the burnt linoleum and I wouldn't realize that there's too much flame right here and he had an issue with the boiler. Wow. And he's buying a new boiler, but um, he just bought the house and everything on, you know, the homeowner who we bought the house from like three months before that said, oh yeah, I maintain it every single year, you know, it's always serviced, da da da. And the bolt drains are clogged. The pigtail, which is that little loopy pipe with the pressure was completely clogged. The, the pipe going into the boy was clogged. The valves and the side glass were clogged. I'm like, this guy so lied to you, you know, saying he did annual service. Like, maybe they, <laughs> maybe they came and took a picture of him and left, but they didn't do any, any kind of service or the thing. It's crazy. I, I, I tell you, listen, I, I, you know, I'm just a weirdo because you know what? I, 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 I just, I don't know. Bring down do the gas a little bit. Every year. Yeah. yeah. So I just crank that down a little bit. And we have to lower that CO. Yeah, not enough. Mike, if you missed an exit, then you know, none of us ever fell out of the car. Nope. <laughs> yeah, they didn't have seatbelts back then. Yeah, this. Yeah. Like, this is bullshit, you know. And you know, there were no, there was no such thing as timeout. You get a smack out. Correct. You know? Oh, now if you I smack your kid. I went to Catholic school for twelve years, so that's a whole different. Story. Oh yeah, you got. It. <laughs> the nuns gave it to you, huh? Listen, when I went into the military. From Catholic school, and I saw what the drill instructors were doing to the troops, and some of them were breaking down. Uh -huh. it is to be in Catholic school <laughs> for twelve years. Yeah, I hear you. But now these days, oh my oh, God! Yeah. If you smack your kid, yeah. you're going to prison. <laughs> you know, they'll report you. Oh yeah, they will report you. And two cops will show up, and the way it used to be, 
when I was, when I first became a police officer, you used to come in and have discretion. You could basically say to the husband or whatever, "Hey, listen, dude, take a walk. Yep. Don't come back. If I come back, I'm gonna kick your ass and knock you up." Correct. Right? But these days, all you need is that 911 call, and you have to do it. You have to take action. Yeah. You have to. Because again, the pendulum swung from an extreme right; it went extreme left. And that's what's happening now. Everything yeah. is extremely left. I just can't wait till it swings right. And everybody falls off the train. It's may, it may happen in two and a half years, three I years, tell right? You what, I'm hoping, you know, November third is the elections, the local elections. Here. Yeah, but next year is is the House and the Senate and this, this, and that. But we'll see what happens this year. So this year, because Nassau County is getting a new DA. Right. I don't know how, what happened to the old DA. Term limited or something or? No, they became the uh, the police commissioner of Suffolk County. Oh, like really? Yeah, yeah. They, they, they so are, now we have Kamineski yeah, yeah. and this other guy, and this, other, and this woman. Uh, woman, I have no idea who she even is, but she's a, she works in the DA's office for 20 plus right, years. Right. Kamineski, he's, he's a politician. He's, he's a politician, also a lawyer. But, but, go ahead. But he also sponsored a bill to, for the no bail reform, too. Correct. So you see, I, 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 I'm kind of torn by that because I know a lot of people who know him. Yeah. <laughs> And because he, he does a lot of community outreach, and this it makes it you know, always very visible. So I'm kind of torn by that. I, I look at it like this. But he's also a Democrat, though. Correct. And I, that's also a thing. But, you know, we're in a blue state anyway. It's Correct. like, I, but, well, you saw the Trump and Biden votes. Nassau County had 50 point, like 9 percent vote yeah. for, for Trump. That's yeah. that's really pushing the envelope right there. Like well, people went out and voted to, to show support. I remember they were they, they were, uh, uh, you know, not not not. not Rioting, you know, the, when they're oh, the waving the flags on some on sunrise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the one the corner was Trump, the next yeah. one was Biden. Yeah, yeah and the Trumps was at, far outnumbered the Biden and people. I also by the way, remember was it last year the BLM um, protest up on Merrick? Yep. The Merrick train station up there, and I'm like, what are these people? Yeah, doing? and they also had in Valley Stream at yeah. the park at the, yeah. at the Village Hall. We we had one here in Limbrook by the uh, pool pool place on sunrise. Yeah, it was very light. Huh. It, was, it was maybe 10, 15 people. You know, and I'm saying, what? Are you know what? Because at one point they were putting on Instagram, "What's mine is yours." I'm like, "Fuck." Oh, right, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, come over here and you'll see what's gonna happen. So it's during, you know, it's, it's good. It's funny you mentioned that. So during during the, I think it was May, it was May or April? No, 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 no. It was before, before the the quarantines. I was in I was in St. Thomas in January. Mm. We go every year for a week of timeshare there, right? Okay. And we, the cruise ships were were the, were the issue. Right? And the cruise ships were working then, but the, the outbreak was just starting. Jan uh, February, we, me and my wife were the South Shore Sportsmen in Merrick. Okay. Okay. Got loaded up. Okay, tell you loaded up. Yeah. We got six weapons. Right? I got the max amount of rounds I could buy. I spent $3,000 there, right? And every, every weapon is locked, loaded, is loaded on safety with, with, the, with the thing through it. So if any, and again, I was, you know, this was like, and the people were marching down Peninsula Boulevard from Rock, from, from Far Rockaway, because I live in Woodmere, right? So they're marching down uh, from Far Rockaway, down Peninsula, and they, I think they ended up going to Limbrook or whatever, but yeah, yeah. Oh, hell no, you make a t wrong turn, like, uh, I'll have like a, be a man like a turret on top of my house, picking them off one by one. I was up at, at, at the same place you were on, Sportsman, right there on Sunrise, yep. right? I, I went in there last year. Sometime. And the place was packed, by the way. And there was a line and a half. Yeah, the place was packed. And now, I know the guy because he's retired. He's a retired NYPD. Yes. So I know him. And he says, hey, Ben, come, 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 on, come on up, you know? And I, all I wanted was to buy a pair of goggles. <laughs> <laughs> because I was going to the range. Reconnected that. But nonetheless, there was, there, was, there was a line of people that you knew never owned a gun ever and never even knew and i had the occasion while i was we were exchanging bullshit and yep. stuff the guy goes excuse me sir i'd like to look at a shotgun for beginners that's what his exact words a shotgun for beginners by the dummies <laughs> by the dummies book it comes with a, it comes with a real shotgun <laughs> i tell that story i go Man. oh my god so we were so the, the, there was these two asian women in front of us and so they got served they got service first and she goes i, listen, I want something that's small but i want a shotgun and you see this little petite Chinese woman, right? Or Asian. And no disrespect to the, the, right, you know, right, the right. Oriental, whatever yeah, you want to call it, right? Whatever. And she's playing with it. Like, ch -ch -ch -ch. I'm like, wow, like we got to get one of those too. <laughs> I took my, my wife. And it's a tiny little thing. Like if she went to shoot this thing, it probably would have blown it 20 feet away. My wife's shooting in Pennsylvania because you can't shoot here. Unless she goes to the joints, gun club. Yeah. Is that well, you can go to the county range, but you can't use a pistol. Right. So, but I took her up, 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 because we, we, we went with our next door neighbors. He's interested in getting a gun. So I said, Jim, let's go up to Pennsylvania. That's okay, so hard for the pistol company. You have to do your weight and yeah. like they dick around. Yeah. And 
So, so, uh, so my wife says, you know, you should, you should take your shotgun with you so that I could um, try it. I go, you are five foot four and 110 pounds. You'll be across the street. Like, you don't need to learn how to shoot. That's funny. I'm yeah, gonna. T- yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm bloated, bloated, and. God I'm gonna forbid, put a zip tie here to hold this back. By the way. God forbid if uh, anything like that crazy happens. I hope not. I hope not either. Numb nuts, yeah. yeah. So it's a good, good name for him. Numb nuts. <laughs> no, it's. Again, I don't. Uh, and I said this, you know, for you know, I'm 45 years old almost, and I've been saying this for a few years. And I, you follow like the way I think of it. It's all about the economics, right? And you have to run the country like a, like a like, it's the biggest business, like a business, or the, the or a household, right. a household. You have X, you have, let's say you have X amount of dollars coming in. Let's say, let's call it a million dollars coming in, right? You can't spend 1.001 over that because now you're in debt. But the United States government has an operating, you know, let's say 5 billion, 5 trillion, but they spend 18 trillion and they borrow money from China, from all these other countries. Now we're indebted to them. So one thing Trump, I like about him, he's a businessman. And you know what? He's, he's a shark. Yeah, let, maybe he's playing with the taxes because he was using the current laws to the benefit of his businesses, right? Milk the system. Sure. If the tax laws are messed up and you don't like it, change it. But so is Warren Buffett. Exactly. So is Bill Gates. Yeah. I mean, they're all playing. Be- Bezos and, 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 and uh, what's his name? Bro. Elon Musk. Fuck and bro. Some, bro. Fuck so, yeah. Yeah, He's an yeah. idiot. Yeah. Um, but, psh, come on. So if you're spending more than you make, you can't do that. Yeah. And I think Ronald Reagan said uh, year, years ago, I just saw a clip of it the other day. And he was a, he was a, de- a Democrat, right? No, he was a Republican. He was, a Republican? He was a Democrat, then he became he flipped, a Republican, right? Yeah, yeah. And he's he, he, in this clip in the early '80s. He's talking about, listen, we cannot. I'm not going to tell you it's not going to cost you more money because they're raising taxes or whatever, or, or bar- doing something, right? I forgot mm-hmm. what it was. He goes, I'm telling you, it's going to cost us more money, so we shouldn't do it until we have the money to do it. This is what he was saying. And then here we are, three point five trillion dollars. By the way, it's not passing because no. Biden is, is is smoking crack in the White House. Or whatever. Of course, he has dementia as well. But. Yeah, no. But I mean, you know what? <laughs> I, I I I mean, when you were a kid, you saw the movie The Wizard of Oz, right? Yeah. With the guy behind the curtain, right? Yep. So you see, someone's running the country behind the curtain. I Illuminati, really maybe. Do. If people think that, wanna, conspiracy yeah, theorists. Yeah, you want to go that route? I mean, <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just throwing it out there. I don't believe that there, at all. There are a group of people that are running the country, that are, because you know what, this guy is way, way off key. Even yeah. though he's a career 48 year corrupt. And it's not officer. Kamala. No, please. It's not her. No, she's I, she's you know a, MIA. I, I don't like I think she's Biden. renovating her bathroom in, in, in don't like San Francisco. Biden, but I can tell you what, I think it would be worse off with, with Kamala. Yeah, yeah, we'd be fucked. How many times something ever happens to him, we're screwed, we're in yeah, trouble. Yeah. People say, oh, you know what, maybe they'll like, They'll do the 25th Amendment and get rid of them. Listen, yeah, yeah, I know. It's the keep best them. thing to keep them in there yeah. for four years. You know, I, I'd rather, out. and then after her is Pelosi. I'd rather have Pelosi than any of them. Okay. She's, I know she's a nut, but... but she's an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> you never see her at the podium? She's, like, <laughs> she's an alcoholic. She's an alcoholic. But you know what? She's they're, a they're, functional yeah. alcoholic. They, they, you know, once, once the Republicans take back the I House, know, take know. back the Senate, go. we'll get rid of those idiots. Schumer, come on. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's let all these illegal people come into the country. Let's give them social services. Let's give them medical. Let's give them schooling. Let's give them this. AOC. Oh, AOC. AOC AOC looks like a rat, by the way. No, I tell you what. I I, I tell you, AOC is just a radical communist. Bartender. She's got a big mouth. Yes. She's a bartender. And, uh, you know, um, she just has a platform with the other other from the squad. Yeah, the squad. But they got to get them out. These, those girls have been like... Poisoned. They're dangerous. Yeah, they're very... Very uh, dangerous. Very dangerous. They have no loyalty to the country. Nope, before. not at all. You know? And, and there was a the whole thing with that, uh, the one the one woman where she married her brother. Oh, yeah, the, the, the black girl. Yeah, from, uh, the Muslim. She's from... Uh, what the hell? Minnesota, I think. Yeah, she's from Minnesota, but originally she immigrated from Yemen or some someplace like yeah. that. Yeah. You know? So it's like... <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I just don't understand. I just don't understand these folks. But you know what? Like I say, I'm in, I'm hoping that when that when that rubber band s- snaps, whoever's in the way just gets knocked out and doesn't come back. <laughs> <laughs> your pressure troll hopefully hopefully is not correct. Let's see. I mean your um, pressure gauge. It's not correct or it is correct. We got a little bit of 
hockey out of the floor right there. That is not correct. It is not 12 PSI. Um, but one thing we didn't do, we should test the pressure troll. Um, the, the, um, the pigtail, make sure that's clean. When's the last time we were here? We weren't here last year for a tune-up, right? No, not last year. You guys were here the 18th? I thought you were here the 19th also. Oh, yeah, 18, no. 12, 18, and... I think, I think... 2012, yeah. 12, 18... 12 and 18, so, all right, let me check the, uh, the pigtail. Blow on this. <laughs> it's clear. All right, so... Pressure troll's back in operation. Everything else is good. Cleaned up the mess. We're good to yeah. go. Thank you very much. My pleasure. And, uh, you know, have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Be well. Yourself. God bless. Yeah. Stay safe. Thank you. Be well. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. You know, it just shows sometimes you need to take your time and leave no stone unturned. You know, I first saw the problem. We got there, but then we couldn't duplicate it. Just wouldn't come back. But lo and behold, a good 40 minutes later, it came back. And we isolated the problem to the gas valve, replaced the gas valve, did another combustion test, and verified and validated that the system is burning properly and safely. And also in the meantime, I had a great, great intellectual conversations with a similar-minded client. Love it. Make sure you thumbs up the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Be well, God bless, stay safe.